Okay, I'm going to show you how to enable the web browser on Honda infotainment systems uh, for those late model cars where it's been uh, uh, no longer enabled by default. Uh, one thing about this, when you enable it, it um, it will you know go away once you turn the car off and then back on. So I'm also going to show you a neat little trick where you can save a uh, a web page to your home screen so that even after you restart the car you can always go back to the browser and to that web page. So the first thing you need to do is get into the service menu on the infotainment screen and the way you do that is by simultaneously holding down the brightness button, the menu button, and the audio button. Obviously it takes three fingers to do it. Hold them all down together and that puts you in the service menu. Click the bottom one which is detailed information um, that gives you a bunch of uh, diagnostic options and there's a second menu you access by holding down the menu key for uh, about five seconds. Hold that down and a new menu comes up with more yet more settings and you want to go to the one that says special function setting. Click on that and there's an option for cancel Android restriction. Hit that and then hit the back button a bunch of times to get you back to the main screen. And now when you go into uh, the list of apps, which you can get to one of several ways, uh, you now see that there is a browser. So click on that. And now we're going to go to Honda Box, which is the website that I made to uh, make it easy to to download files to the uh, infotainment system. So type in hondabox.net and it'll take you right there. By the way, I've, I've already uh, connected the infotainment system to my, uh, tethered it to my phone. Uh, you can also get on the internet by uh, just plugging in the cable to your phone and going to the, uh, the, the Honda Link app. Um, there's detailed instructions on how to do that in uh, uh, other YouTube videos. All right, so we're on Honda Box, <clears throat> and now we're going to make a uh, a link to it. So you click on this uh, menu item in the upper right, which brings you to a set of options uh, for the browser. Click again in the upper right for your bookmarks, and you're going to see that uh, I've already got a few bookmarks there that I've done before. I'm going to show you though. If you're doing this for the first time, you're going to want to click on history and you just went to the website. So go to today and you'll see that in the uh, uh, top uh, uh, menu item is the website you just went to and you're going to click on the star next to it and that's going to bring up another menu and you just click OK. And so now, you, now you've just bookmarked the website you went to. So click uh, cancel and get keep hitting back to get out of there and back to the main screen and now what we're gonna do is add a uh, menu item uh, to your home screen that will always let you go back to that website so go back to your apps menu and you see there's an option for widget and you're gonna hold down on bookmark and you're gonna drag that bookmark icon uh, wherever you want. So you've got a couple different screens you can put it on. I'll put it right here and now it's going to bring up all your bookmarks and you're going to click on the one that you just created on the box and boom there it is. So now uh, that is click OK. Always going to be there for you even after you restart the car that um, is always going to that's going to persist even after uh, a complete reset of the system. So uh, whenever you click on that and you're connected to the internet, it's going to bring the browser up and take you back to that site. And on the next video, I'll tell you actually how to use Honda Box.